Hey everybody! So I have a bowl here. I have a big bowl. I have a bajillion things of glue. Elmer's glue. And um, I have newspaper and I have a bunch of different colored balloons. I don't know which one to use. I'm thinking red. This is really disgusting. Woohoo! Elmer's glue. Elmer's. Hope we can use this bowl afterwards. Now I gotta add water. Just a fun fact for everyone, I don't know what I'm doing. Hopefully I am not, um, you know, hopefully nobody with a balloon fetish is watching this is basically what I'm saying. <sighs> this balloon's funny shaped. No. Eh? That's a good balloon. There we go. My balloon! Ba -ba -da -ba. Not making a mask or a, uh, or a pinata, by the way. I know you probably think I am because I'm using a balloon, but I'm not, I swear. Okay, let's go. Yeah, am I doing this right, guys? Is this how you do it? Okay, I added more glue to my mixture because I, I think it, I don't, I think it was too watery. But, uh, really have no idea what I'm doing. I've said that for so many freaking challenges. You know, I heard that you're supposed to add salt to your, to your mixture. Otherwise, this could get moldy, which is really disgusting and something I probably should have done. But, uh, whatever. It'll be a science project. I, uh, discovered that it takes 6 to 24 hours, um, 48 hours, one of those. Either way, too much time to, uh, dry paper mache. So, um, I'm going to blow dry it. Here we go. Guys, okay, I'm outside now, believe it or not. Yeah, I'm outside of my house. It's really, really hot out here. I don't think I can even dry this outside because of how humid it is. It's sort of dry. It's a little bit soggy. I don't know. I don't, I don't got the time for this, so I'm gonna, I'm spray painting it now. Yeah, I'm gonna spray paint it with this white spray paint. Also, don't use spray paint unless you are 18. Um and don't abuse it, and I don't know what else you say about that, but I Okay, let's go. Pop in the balloon. Okay. Why did I pop the balloon and nothing happened? How's that possible? Oh! Oh! Oh no, did you see that? Oh my god. Alright guys, so, um... Okay. It is a... Um... It is a Christmas tree. A white... It's a Christmas tree ornament, actually. You stick, stick a little loop thing in, in right here. Let me get the balloon out. Oh, the balloon is nice and wet. This is the way it's supposed to look. It's art. This is art. This is a sculpture. This is... This is gorgeous. My hands... This is, um... Um, my suggestion to the candy crew would be to start this, um, a day before. Day before, let it actually dry the way it's supposed to. Um, yeah. But, you know what? I, I don't need to worry about that, because this is the way it was supposed to look. Alright. da 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 Everybody. So it uh, turns out that um, paper mache is really a lot harder than I thought it would be. So for the vlog, um, right now I'm not dressed the way I would if I were going out. My hair isn't done and stuff like that too. Um, I never wear this hat by the way for fashion purposes. It's just when my hair is curly and I don't want you to see it. Basically, I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea how to dress. I have no fashion sense whatsoever. Now that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean I dress bad. It just means I don't know how, and I have to ask people. Um, I really just don't know. I don't know what colors match. I don't know what looks good. I, I don't know. I, I shop at, like, two stores, which are Uniqlo, which is a store here in New York City. Oh, I have glue all over my arm. Oh my god, that's gross. Okay, oh, this is really disgusting. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, a store here called Uniqlo. It's a Japanese clothing store, so they're all over... You know, it's, they're originally from Japan, and they have stores in Europe, and other places and stuff. Oh my god, this is nasty. 
And um, I don't know, really like the clothes, go on uniqlo.com, look it up. Um, yeah, I also shop at like Urban Outfitters. And I have a, the blue cardigan that I wear a whole bunch, I don't know if you've seen it. Probably, it was in my last video, actually, yeah. Um, I got that from American Apparel. I'm not, I'm not an American Apparel person. I feel like a lot of people shop at American Apparel just because it's American Apparel. But um, also people shop there because um, of their tri-blend cotton. And I'm not into mushy shirts. Might be into that if I had a nice body, but I don't want you to see every curve and like crevice of my body, so I'm not gonna wear a shirt that's basically just a body mold. I like stiffer shirts, so I don't really shop in American Apparel, but that's a freaking good cardigan. I will say I do buy a lot of cardigans and a lot of hoodies. I don't know what that says about me. I don't know if that means that I, I don't know if I'm a, a cardigan person. I don't know if, I, if I'm a cardigan dude. I don't really know if I want to be a cardigan. I, I just like cardigans a whole lot. Okay, so I will see you guys next week, and that's it. Bye, guys.